Hello everyone, it is John, and today we're going to have a look at, well I don't know if it's a small collection, it's, uh, it's a collection of my Battletech novels that all started with this first book by William H. H. Keith, yes, Keith Jr., yes. This book was written or released in... Uh, no, it was copyright 1986, so this started uh, my collecting the uh, the novels, and I collected rather religiously all of them until 1999. And there's 46 of them. I counted them, and I've got three Mech Warrior, three Mech Warrior novels, which have snuck in there somehow. Don't know how they did that, but anyway, I've um, I think there's about eleven odd, <coughs> pardon me, about eleven odd um, BattleTech novels uh, that were released after uh, the year two thousand. <coughs> Sorry, the the weather it's gotten cool and windy. So let's go and have a look at my collection. Well. <laughs> Somebody asked <clears throat> about my Battletech collection at one stage and about the books. And I was doing a clean up. Well, clean up? No, I was looking at uh, novels that I uh, use for background material for my Call of Cthulhu. And I thought when I was searching, I came across all my Battletech novels. And I thought, I wonder how complete my Battletech novels are. And they are complete up to the year 1999. I think there are about 11 novels after. And there were some reprints. Now, these are in order of the year that they were release now the very first one that was that was released was decision at thunder rift which was uh, the gray who was it the gray death legion is that who they were grace and death carlisle yeah and uh, that was i think well, you can see just about everybody i know at the time borrowed my copy so it's showing that it had a hell of a lot of uh, hell of a lot of reads. So then there was uh, that was the first one. And then we had uh, Sword and Dagger, which gave us um, who did it give Hans uh, or Hansi um, Davian, and. Um, I can't remember the other chap's name. Arden, there it is, Arden Sortek. And uh, that was, I thought that was a fairly decent novel. Then we had, uh, I think, Grace, the Grace and uh, Grey Death Legion again with uh, Mercenary Star. And then The Price of Glory, which was again uh, a Grey Death. A Grey Death um, Legion a novel. Then we moved on to, we had the uh, On Guard, which was the uh, the Warrior Trilogy, which uh, was really, really good. It was written by um, Michael Stackpole. So there were these two, and before the third one came out, there was Wolves on the Border, which was a really, really good book. I thought that was excellent, that one. And uh, that introduced um, <sighs> yes, no, look, it's that long ago. I can't remember them now, and I never script anything I do. And then came the third, the third book from the trilogy from Warrior Coup, and uh, that was that series was really really good. Then we had um, then we had Heir to the Dragon. And uh, then we had another trilogy, which brought in the clans. Um, 
and uh, I cut, oh, sorry for the glare. Um, so you had uh, Vladimir Kerensky. Um, yeah, so they were they were good. Um, then uh, then we had Way of the Clans, Blood Name, Falcon Guard, Wolf Pack, Natural Selection, Ideal War, Main Event. What have we had? Blood of Heroes. Then there was Assumption of Risk. Far Country, that was the most disappointing book I ever had. Uh, all the build-up and everything and the hype and everyone was thinking, oh, we're going to find aliens, and nope, it wasn't. It was absolute drivel. Um, DRT, uh, then we had Close Quarters, then came Bread for War, I Am Jade Falcon, Highlander Gambit, Tactics of War, we had Star Lord, Malicious Intent, Heart of Chaos. I'm quite pleased to see that I actually did not miss any of the Battletech books as they were being released at the time, from the very beginning until I stopped in 1999. So I'm quite pleased with that. Impetus of War, Double Blind, uh, Binding Force, and as you can see, the book's in really good condition. Exodus War, uh, Grave Covenant, The Hunters, Free Birth, Sword and Fire, and uh, Shadows of War. Then we had Prince of Havoc, Falcon Rising, Thread of Ambition, and then The Killing Fields. And that was where I had stopped, which was in 1999. Uh, then I had these. There were some Mech Warrior novels that I've um, acquired. Um, I'm not too not too sure how many of those there were, and I've got one. I've got one of the reprints for Decision of Thund at Thunder Rift uh, that I must have picked up. I think I picked it up in a second hand shop. I think uh, because my poor old copy of Decision, as you saw, was in um, dire needs of being protected from being. <laughs> destroyed but look there you go that is all my Battletech novels um, and uh, and such and I really should probably sit down one day and probably probably read them again although I notice that some of them are available as uh, as audible as audio so I might have to have a think about that but anyway look thank you very much for your time Tell me what you think of some of the novels. I know some of them are dreadful. Some of them are fairly decent. But um, Michael Stackpole I've always enjoyed as an author. I thought he's done fairly well. So, uh, look, till next time, signing off. The Honourable John. <laughs>